Hi, this is Josh with Custom Spinners Unlimited. We're going to try a new product called Mend It. I'm going to be repairing a new uh, Lake Shaker Junior. This is a modified version. It's about 15 to 18 inches long. A little bit of wear and tear here, so we're going to try Mend It. We're going to see how it works. Just apply the glue, it actually melts the plastic, and then it slowly bonds back together. It takes about five minutes or so. so I'm just going to hold it at least until it holds itself. This is a large, expensive, soft plastic. It takes a long time to rig it internally like that, so if this works, it saves me about a half an hour and a few dollars on the plastic. I was talking to the uh, owner of the company. He says it works on just about any type of soft plastic that they've tried it on so far. and it doesn't stick to your fingers. It only reacts with the plastic itself. It's not really a glue, it's more of a plastic melting agent. A couple forums that I checked, it looks like it's, it says it holds in about five minutes, but the uh, maximum strength was a couple hours to overnight. So repair your baits when you get home, and everything's good to go the next morning. I manufacture a couple thousand spinners, but I specialize in spinners for soft plastics, so really hoping this stuff works as well as it's designed to. Save a lot of money in my tackle box, because I use mostly soft plastics with my spinners. So far, looks a lot better than when I started. And this uh, new mend it, it won't create hard spots in the soft plastics, so that way your bait stays natural. Like I said, it actually just melts the plastic. It's not going to be a hard spot of glue. It's made in the USA. Very popular with the bass plastics. You can actually take a worm, rip it in half, and glue a different tail back right back on it. Looks like it's holding itself together pretty well. So I'm just going to leave it here. And we'll come back in a few minutes and give her some pulls just to see exactly how, how strong it is. See if it's as strong as the original plastic. Just don't want to rip the tail off or I'll have to glue it back on. Okay, we're back. It's been definitely more than five minutes. Got busy uh, doing some work online, but it seems to have uh, completely glued itself back together, except for where the hook is. It does, like I said before, it doesn't bond with the hook. It's not a glue. It actually just melted the plastic, bonded the plastic. It's actually pretty strong. I'll do some more tests tomorrow. Let it sit, you know, all night long. But as of right now, it definitely is much stronger than it was before. A little close up there. So it's definitely going to keep the tail on at least uh, another day or two, hopefully. And by then, hopefully a monster fish. That'll chew it all up, and then it don't make any difference as long as I get a fish on this bad boy. All right, well, that concludes a uh, little test here. And then maybe I can uh, 
can put some suggestions or just any other things that I noticed uh, tomorrow after it's completely done. Hi, we're back. It's been about 24 hours now or so. Looks just as good as new, as you can see. You can pull on that just as hard as I could when I first bought the plastics and everything looks good. Um, some suggestions. When you're putting the plastic in, don't bend it down like I did. They actually started to melt all the way through almost instantly as soon as the glue touched it. So as the directions say, just kind of push the nozzle in there, add a little glue until it comes back out. Um, I did try it on some other baits out of my tackle box that I fixed. Repaired some tails. This tail was completely gone and I actually glued a different tail on of a broken jig. Same with this one. Completely new tail. It was 100% severed and you can see it's just like brand new. This bait, though, I actually chopped two baits completely apart. This is a whole entire second half of a different bait. You can see the seam right there. Real hard to see, but I almost glued it perfectly. I mean, it's just like a brand new plastic. So I took two baits and made one. Now it's still 100% fishable. So yeah, my test determined definitely the mend it works. Um, with the storm baits here, these are my favorite baits. It did take a little bit longer for the mend it to work on this type of plastic. It's a little bit stronger than most plastics. Really stiff, really strong. But it did actually melt it enough to where, you know, sealed 100% right back the way it should. Um, but yeah, definitely a great product. Definitely look forward to, to carrying it. And hope you, if you've used soft plastics, really hope you get a little bottle. It's av available in two sizes. This is a one third ounce bottle. Retails for, I believe, $6. And the large one, this is a full one ounce bottle. And this retails for only 12 So it's definitely a better deal. Um, both of them has a cover with the pointed applicator so you can get it into the plastics where it needs to be repaired. But definitely great product. Um, if you're interested in any of my lures, the soft plastics or the Mendit product, you can check out my website. It's www.customspinners.com. Well, thanks for watching and good luck fishing. Just wanted to add, if anybody's interested, the camera that I'm using is a VIO um, POV camera, point of view camera. It's actually, I use it as a head cam, so I'm hoping to have a bunch of video footage of my lures in the water and fish eating the lures. Um, I'm also going to have some pool demos with underwater camera. Um, so definitely check out keep keep up to date on my site here um, and, and check out all the clips that I'm hoping to have uh, as soon as it starts getting warmer it'll be the fishing clips and then I'll have some pool demos in the next month well thanks again for watching